Tonight here on the News at 10, we're going to continue our series on the opioid crisis. We've reported tonight about volunteers handing out clean needles and drug supplies to help stop the spread of diseases like Hep C. But the county's top prosecutor is totally against needle exchange programs. It is really hard. And every time there was a bottom, you know, your rock bottom, it got deeper. Every time. It's a hard fight, and I've, I've had... 13 friends lose their lives because of this. A battle many addicts will never survive. Opiates are a drug so powerful anyone can get hooked after popping that first pill or slamming for the first time. A group called Shot in the Dark is run by volunteers providing addicts with clean needles, tourniquets, heroin cookers, cotton swabs, and life-saving medicine, Narcan. You can find drugs anywhere. Um, they lock up uh, however many drug dealers or drug peddlers or drug users um, that, that you can, and there will always be more. George is a volunteer. He spends three to five nights a week setting up these pop-up sites to give these heroin addicts clean needles. Uh, yes. The state of Arizona says what George is doing is a felony. They consider him possessing drug paraphernalia. George sees it as saving lives. We have increased the number of private treatment centers in the state of Arizona, and there's still a huge opioid crisis happening. The opioid crisis is on track to get even worse. Since the state began providing real-time data last June, Arizona has seen more than 5,200 opioid overdoses. But there's another health crisis that rarely gets attention the spread of diseases. So why is it illegal to give addicts clean sanitary needles and supplies? I think the Pollyanna perspective is that you can help someone use drugs safely when the use of those drugs is going to lead to their death. Maricopa County Attorney Bill Montgomery says giving out clean needles will only drive people to their grave faster. He believes needle exchanges are more of a danger than savior. Do you think that uh, essentially needles are a gateway to saying yes to heroin? If you're already using heroin in the first place, then yes. <laughs> uh, really? I mean, think about that question. No, they're going to reuse already, needles, right? They're going to reuse dirty needles. It's not like a heroin addict going to stop using heroin because they don't have a clean needle, correct? Correct, yeah. So uh, what I'm saying is you're already using heroin. Giving someone another needle isn't helping them stop from using but heroin. But it could prevent them from at least contracting hep C and using a dirty needle or even HIV. And what I'm telling you is that there are conflicting studies that show whether or not that really does occur. But researchers at the Center for Disease Control discovered cases of hep C increased 133% from 2004 to 2014. People ages 18 to 29, researchers found a 400% rise of hep C with injection drug use as the primary risk factor. Here's what George wants you to understand. The goal of his group, Shot in the Dark, isn't about getting people sober. It's about keeping addicts disease free, essentially keeping them alive, perhaps just long enough to get them out of the cycle of drug abuse. Because the harsh reality is, George says, opioids aren't going away. It's in our high schools, it's in our neighborhoods, it's in the nice neighborhoods, the bad neighborhoods. It's down the street. I'm sure somebody has drugs in this parking lot right now. And right now on our AZ Family News app, we've got a lot of information about the impact heroin is having on our Valley community. We've got information just like this one talking about opioid deaths. If you look at the strong barcode right here, more people are dying from pain pills and heroin are people ages 45 to 54. Folks, we've got to arm ourselves with as much information as we can if we are going to fight this crisis. You can find it all online at azfamily.com.